There are going to be times where a solid color or a gradient just isn't going to cut it for you in working with shapes or filling shapes or doing whatever you need to do with the lines or the drawings that you've made. In this case, what you might want to do is take a look at using textures and patterns. And these are built into fireworks. To get yourself started working with textures and patterns, open up the 04 underscore texture dot png file located in your exercise folder. And when it opens, you're going to see that there's a photograph of a sculpture that's been sort of welded into a door. And behind it is the solid gray color. Now, patterns and textures are really quite easy to add. As I said, they're built into fireworks. So if you select the gray color here and come to the solid, you can see that there are patterns here. And these are little bitmap images that are basically used to create patterns. One of my favorites here, by the way, is blue goo. And if you select it, you can see there's the blue goo. And you get the handle so you can adjust how the pattern looks. And just add a little bit of, I don't know, oomph to your pattern. If you don't like the blue goo, well, you can add threads or static or do whatever you want to do with the patterns. Okay, we're going to take this off. So we just select none and it's gone. Now, the other thing that you can do here is you can add green to these things. And we're going to do, uh, just add a gray color to the selection here. We'll just put it back the way it was. And instead of a pattern, we're going to add green. And you can see that there's all kinds of little bump maps in here that you can use to add green to the selection. So for instance, if you want to choose DNA, you get it covered with little blobs. And you can have the intensity of the blobs change based upon the opacity of the slider. And then if you throw a pattern on there, throw threads on, you can get threads with blobs. So as you can see, you can mix and match these things. So there you go. There's a nice little way of adding a little bit of zing to your shapes that you may draw. You can use uh, patterns that are included with the application. And if you don't want to use a pattern, you can use a texture. And by the way, if you do get a texture added and you want to get rid of it, just take it down to zero and it's gone.